Okay, so we're ready to move on to turn four. We took a hit from the gargoyle last turn, and that slowed us down. So our options are a little bit limited here in the sense that we can only move two squares now. Luckily, we're not completely immobilized. But we can only move two squares. So once again, we have to think about uh, gambling or not gambling. Not gambling would mean we would use, we would move Alyssa adjacent and automatically do one damage. The problem is the gargoyle would still be around, would still have a chance to attack. We could also throw some holy water on it, but that only does one damage, and we can't do both at the same time, unfortunately. Now we do have our hit and run that paid off last time. And I think when it comes to these types of monsters that have the two hit points, we're probably going to gamble and just hope it pays off. So we're going to move and then attack. So we don't need a surge. We're going to move and then we're going to attack. So this is going to move. I don't think it matters if we're on these or not. But uh, again, because she has the scout, um, we'll just move here the one, so that we're adjacent to the gargoyle, and um, and that will still allow us to scout over here if we choose to. It's not required. It says, uh, you know, you are a master explorer. Uh, you can explore. It doesn't say you have to. You can. And there may be reasons why you wouldn't want to. Alright, so we're going to roll dice. Hopefully we roll good and high. We need at least a 10. That's not a 10, that's a 7, so we missed. The gamble did not pay off. And unlike the monsters and traps in this game, when we miss, we just miss. <laughs> so, so we don't get to get we don't get a treasure card, nor do we get the option of taking that plus one healing. Now we have to choose are we going to explore or not? Um, either way, our slowed is now gone because it goes away at the end of the hero phase, and the hero phase is now over. So now, the reason that we would want to explore is because, again, we're trying to get to the secret stairway, so we're trying to drill down through those tiles. So we could explore over here that would unlock another tile, but unlocking another tile at this point will also unlock another monster, and it will either unlock it will either give us an encounter which is always bad or it could slide the time track forward what i find typically i like to do is try not to have too many things coming down on us all at once if i don't explore i have to take an encounter encounters are always bad but it seems like the lesser evil, because if I don't explore, I'm only taking the encounter, that's it. I mean, this guy's still going to attack me, but that's it. It's just the encounter and the attack. If I do explore, I'm looking at a possibility of uh, two monsters attacking me, plus an encounter. Or two monsters attacking me, plus sliding the time track forward. So this seems like the least evil of my options. They're all bad, but this is the least bad. So we're not going to explore in this phase. So our there's no uh, tile to, to talk about. There's no new monster getting placed. There is a forced encounter that we have to take. So we'll take our forced encounter and we don't have enough experience to cancel it. So let's hope it's not a bad one. Sometimes encounters we get really lucky and they just fizzle. Okay, so this one isn't terrible. It's called Overrun. Monsters charge from all directions. Each hero takes damage equal to the number of monsters he or she controls. In our case, we only control one monster, so we only take one damage. So it's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. So now we're down to two hit points. So there's no villain in the game at the moment, and the gargoyle is going to come back around for another attack. And if it hits us, we're dead. 
and we'll have to revive ourselves in the next turn. So if the gargoyle is uh, within one tile, and it is, it moves to the closest hero's tile and attacks with the whirlwind of claws. So we're going to roll for the gargoyle, and hopefully we roll low. That's not low. Luckily, there's no such thing as a critical hit when it comes to these monsters, but it doesn't matter because we're dead. So let's talk about how death works. So we go down to zero. So I'm just going to indicate that on my sheet here. And uh, typically what you do, uh, if, if there's more than one uh, hero in the game, you lay the hero sideways, indicating that it's dead. In this particular case, we don't need to go through that, but I'll go ahead and do it here. And that will be the official end of turn number four. And when we come back in turn number five, we will revive Alyssa and try to fight on.